in your life aren't looking to pour into you. They're not looking to give you anything, not one penny, because they know that they got one foot in and one foot out. They don't really want to be there. They don't really want to invest in you as a man because the only thing they want are benefits. They're like leeches. They're vampires. They want to take, take, take. And then if you ask for any sort of cooperation, peace, submission, or you ask the question, so what do you bring to the table? Or uh, so what can I expect from you as a girlfriend potentially or, or wife? Or, you know, what do you bring into my life? You know what they do? They get mad. They get frustrated because they know that they don't bring anything and they don't plan on bringing anything to your life. They just plan on giving you some pity sex here and there, laying there like a starfish, bending over on occasion, and then they're going to just take from you. They're going to get dinners, uh, movies, dates, shopping sprees, vacations, bills paid. Is that worth it? Is that worth the trade-off? You get some occasional sex that she's given to tons of other dudes before she met you for free. And she got to try to charge you and say, you got to do this for me. You got to do that for me. If she can't answer, so what do you bring to my life? What can I expect from you if you're my girlfriend? If she can't do that, that means she doesn't plan on being with you long term. Most of these women, they're just taking carousel breaks. They're there for a few months or a year or so. And then they hopping back on to their hot girl summer. This is why, guys, don't invest in these women like that up front. Make sure she's doing stuff for you. And I'm not talking about sex because women know that so many men are sex deprived, that you're thirsty, that you need to get that release. So they dangle it above your head and they treat it as a reward. They treat it as something special, but it's not. See, guys, sex is a mutual exchange. And I'm telling you right now, women will try to make it appear as though giving you sex is the most amazing thing on earth. No, it's not. When you had enough of it, when you can get women, when, you can, when you've done this and that, it's not something special. It's just a, a thing that you just do. It's a recreational use, right? It's, it's just, you know, some fun time. What is she going to do for you outside of that bedroom? Is she putting money in your pocket? Is she packing your lunch? Is she bringing you lunch to work? Is she cooking you breakfast? Is she rubbing your back? Is she giving you peace of mind? Most of you guys are with women. You're going on dates and in relationships, married, and these women are giving you headaches, you get off work and she's yelling at you. She's mad. She already got attitude. You've worked 8, 10, 12 hours in that day, 60, 70, 80 hours a week. Each day you get off, she has a bone to pick with you. She's yelling at you. And if she ain't yelling, she's giving you that narcissistic cold shoulder. You're expecting some sort of affection, some, some hey, babe, how are you? She's not even happy around you. The only thing she's doing is giving you a, 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 the side eye. Because truth be told, she don't want to be with you. And uh, most of these women, they don't know how to invest in a man. They don't know how to put it to any relationship. Why do you think so many women divorce men so fast? Number one, because they think they can do better. And number two, they never planned on being there for long because women are unhappy generally. Most of them are. So when an individual is unhappy, no matter what you do for her, no matter what you provide and give and, and, and pay all these bills, and she's never going to be happy with herself. So she's going to be miserable inside, which means she's going to turn it on you. And she's going to try to make you miserable as possible. It's like quicksand when you deal with most of these women. The more you try and, and do this and happy wife, happy life, the quicker you sink. And, and you just start becoming depressed like her. And you're like, man, I'm losing my hair. I'm going bald. I, I, I can't sleep at night. I, I can't shower. I can't eat. Why am I like this? Why do you think when a breakup happens, a woman says, oh, we can't be together no more. I'm, I'm moving on. I, let's be friends. Why do you think a big weight is, weight is lifted off your shoulder? Haven't you noticed that when all these breakups or some of you guys are divorced, it's like, man, I got so much money. I got so much time. I mean, I'm in better shape. I'm, I'm more happy. I got time for my hobbies. I got this and that. Because most of these women are literally a, a weight on your shoulders. They're a burden. So guys, ask women this question. What do you bring to the table? What do you get bring into my life? And if you're not bringing anything, then you need to leave. Hey, you if, listen, if worse comes to worse, if you're that desperate, you can just pay for some box. And just keep it moving if you really want to go that route. But guys, what are these women doing for you? You need to ask yourself this. Even if you're in a relationship right now or you're married, ask yourself, man, what is my girlfriend doing for me right now? Like, like is she bringing me some food? Is she, you know, is, does she even pay for anything? We go out to eat and I'm always paying. Does she bother to just, I mean, try? Does she pay for the tip? I mean, or is it always me making the plans? Then after you make the plans, you go out, do some fun, then she gives you some pity sex, and that's it. And you, oh, I'm so happy. Guys, don't let these women do this to you. <laughs> don't let them. You need to start asking them, 
What am I getting from you? Reevaluate your relationship or situation. Right now, today, after you watch this video, think and write on a piece of paper. So what is she doing for me? And what type of problems is she giving me? And you'll realize that, man, the, the benefits, you know, don't even outweigh the problems that she's giving me. She's giving me headaches and, 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 and all these different things. Guys, don't let uh, the lack of companionship and the potential of you being alone rush you into a relationship or keep you with a, a leech, a vampire, a woman who does not even care about your happiness or your well-being. And most of these women, they're just there for the ride. And then when they find a new guy that's going to give them a little more excitement, they just, I'm out of here. Why do you think women leave so quick? Because they know if I don't invest, if, if, if I do as little as possible, then I have a gateway out. Then I, then I have a, I got that rescue boat over there. And then they know you, they're going to make you invest. That's why they say, oh, you the man. You got to pay. You got to do this. Because they want a way out. And they don't plan on sticking around for a long time. Guys, get rid of these leeches. They're not worth it. The only thing they're going to do is, is cause you pain and agony and, and make your bank account get lower and lower and lower. Ask these women this question. What am I getting from you? Ask yourself this. You need to ask them. And they'll tell you everything you need to know about that woman in that situation. Whether you should stay or should go or continue to invest or say, you know what? It's better off that, that we just, you know, part ways. She's going to be confused. Like, what, what, what do you mean part ways? Yeah, because most of these women, they don't want you to wake up. They just want you to be like a zombie for sex or like a, <laughs> what can I do sex again? What can I, can I get later? What can I do sex? And they want you to just starve and thirst for them. Get rid of these women.